Hello, my name is Maud, I'm an automated test conceptor and welcome to this tutorial about the configuration of a mobile station server. In this tutorial we'll see how to connect a server to AgiliTest and then we'll see how to connect a mobile to AgiliTest. For this tutorial, mobile station is already set up with an Android device. This connected phone has an IP address and a port as well as a name to make it recognizable. At the top of the mobile station interface, there is an IP address and a port. So 192, 168, 1, 13 and 9000. This IP address will never change since it is the computer in which mobile station in is installed on. However, the port can be changed if needed. So here we are going to configure a mobile station server to ensure that Agilites can discuss directly with mobile station. To do that, you have to do, go to the parameters in Agilites in which there is an insert dedicated to mobile station. Click on the add button to add a server to connect to Agilites. From there, it is not possible to change the server's name, but you will have to enter the IP address and the port from the mobile station interface we have seen earlier. So then press the enter key to validate your selection and the server will appear in a new line in which you can click on to have more details. There you can modify the IP address and the port, you can add a description, but above all you can find the list of the connected devices to mobile station. Once the server is connected, you need to create a new script in order to connect the phone. In this script, open a channel and then change your default browser by clicking on the button Select a new mobile app from your application panel. Agilites will then open a pop-up for you to enter the IP address of the phone as well as the port. It is possible to enter it manually, or if you've connected the server like we've seen earlier, you can select it directly from a list. Then click on the Discover button to show the install applications in the device, as well as other information regarding the device itself. There is also a visual of a mobile. It is not a direct representation of the connected phone, but it is here to differentiate whether it is an Android or an iOS mobile. From the list of applications, select the one in which you want to execute your test on and click on the Execute button to launch the application. On the mobile station side, you will see a lock appear next to the mobile in which actions are executed. That means that this mobile is linked to this computer using Agilitis. So if another person who is using Agilitest on another computer wants to use this mobile, an error message will appear to inform that the phone is already used. So to free the phone and stop its use on Agilitest, you simply have to close the channel of your script. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for listening. Don't hesitate to leave a like and give your feedbacks in the comments. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.